Hi, this is Charles Kelly. I'm in London today in Sloan Square on Friday the 15th of October. And behind me you can see uh, the Royal Court Theatre, Sloan Square Station there, the Colbert restaurant. And if you walk up that street over there, that would lead you up to, to Knightsbridge and Harrods. And this is actually the Sloan Square itself. And then over there is King's Road. That's, that's fashionable Chelsea. So yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful area, very, very expensive. And really over, you know, behind me over there and that, that area is, is commonly known as Belgravia. And if you buy a property there, let's say you buy a flat there, you could pay anything from a, a million pounds for a short lease up to 15 million pounds just for a flat in one of the buildings in say Eaton Square. Uh, the freeholds are, are generally not available because all of the freeholds, all of the land, so all of the land, all, all the property around here, all the land is mostly owned by one family and that's the Duke of Westminster. Uh, their reported wealth is over 10 billion but I don't think anybody could really estimate what their, their wealth is worth. I'm going to let this ambulance go by. <coughs> that was good timing. Yeah, and, and the family have had this property in, you know, held by the family for, for hundreds of years and that's how they've preserved their wealth because they will only sell off properties on a leasehold. So they will grant you a lease for 50 years, 100 years, maybe longer. But they know that eventually that, that freehold is coming back to them and, and the family. And this is how they've preserved family wealth for, for hundreds of years and why, why they're worth billions and billions of, of pounds today. And, and I would imagine that, that doesn't even start with, with what they're really worth because you know they've got offshore businesses as well, they've got other property companies. It's not just based on the one family business. But this is why, if you, if you buy a leasehold, you know, eventually that property is going to go back to, to the freeholder unless you carry on extending the lease. And then if you extend the lease, they, the, the freeholder gets another wadge of money from you to extend the lease. So it's a great model. Uh, and that, that Sloan Street, now that would lead right up to, to Harrods, uh, Harvey Nichols and, and Knightsbridge. And then down there, as I said, you've got King's Road. So this is, it's, it's a fascinating story because uh, when, when the, the last Duke of Westminster died, uh, I think he's called the Earl of Grosvenor or something like that, and he died fairly young. And his son, uh, the, the, the latest Duke, became one of the richest young men and the most eligible bachelor in, in, in the UK. I think he was less than 30 years old. So he's inherited this enormous fortune now, the family have a good tradition of preserving wealth. They don't go out and start blowing all the money. Uh, they, they, they look after the money for the, the future generations. So, you know, I'm sure they uh, don't um, deprive themselves of anything, but you, you generally wouldn't see them out you know, splashing money around and uh, in the gossip newspapers and that sort of thing. They, they lead quite a low-key lifestyle, as many of these, what you might call old money families do. Uh, and, and they're thinking about their future generations. In fact, there was a case a few years ago, many years ago, where the courts had only settled the, the state duties for the, the grandfather uh, of, of the, the last duke. So these, the, they, they plan years ahead in terms of inheritance tax and the state duties, trusts, in order to, to, to preserve their wealth from, from the tax man as well as you know, just losing the money by selling off the properties and then paying a load of tax and, and then... Okay, I think I'm back online now. I lost the connection there. Yeah, this is how they preserve their, their wealth for, for years and years and years, whereas other uh, families that have had stately homes and, and, and wealth from, you know, a few hundred years ago, uh, the, the second and third generation have lost that money because they, they didn't continue uh, to, to pr produce anything and the money that they had has gone because of taxes and death duties and that sort of thing. But the, the Duke of Westminster, and to be fair, in, over in Chelsea, you know, the earls of Cadogan and, and different earls have, have managed to, to keep wealth in, in place. Um, uh, the other one is the De Walden estate over in Marble Arch. Uh, 
they, they, by, by clever planning and tax planning, they've managed to preserve their wealth. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but if you are buying a property and, and you're buying a leasehold, then you know, you've only got that property for the, the term of the lease unless you extend it. Now, the government has reformed leaseholds in the past and they're planning to do so again. But whether it will go far enough for most people is another matter. It will probably give you more rights to extend your lease uh, at, at a cheaper rate. Uh, but it, it's not going to, I, I doubt if it will strip the wealth of all the freeholders in, in the country. So we, we shall see. Now, other news today that's happening is that uh, we've got a, a bit of a crisis here of supply. And the latest one was the pig farmers who said that, you know, if they don't get any workers in the abattoirs to, to slaughter the pigs, then, you know, w they will have to burn all of the carcasses on their farms. Uh, apparently, they can't slaughter themselves, slaughter them themselves on their farm. They have to be trained to do that. It has to be done in an abattoir, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Uh, now the government is going to issue visas, temporary seasonal workers visas for uh, workers to go and work in abattoirs and maybe other farm workers to solve the problem. We've still got a driver shortage of course and many kids might not get as many toys this Christmas. Uh, poor little things, what, 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 how will they manage? You know? uh, but anyway, that, that's another story. Um, I, I think it will eventually sort itself out and eventually they'll just bring in driverless trucks and then uh, you know, that, that will probably end the jobs forever. So whatever you're doing today, stay safe, have a great weekend, and I'm off to a meeting here uh, in Belgravia, not buying a property by the way, but uh, whatever you're doing, just have a, a good day, thank you.